Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks video for Farming Simulator 25. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the build mode. And let me tell you, this is not your grandfather's build mode. It's not your daddy's build mode. This thing is a whole new beast. But before we dive into FS25 build mode, let's talk about placeables of past. My first experience with Farm Sim was way back in Farm Sim 17. We didn't really have placeables per se. We had a few select buildings we could put down. We had fill points we could put down where we could fill seed, fertilizer, and lime, but that was about it. Farm Sim 19 introduced the concept of build your own farm. We could delete things, we could sell buildings, we could landscape, we could paint textures, we could put down shrubbery and grass textures, and we could put down buildings. But I have to tell you, it was pretty limited. Farm Sim 22 expanded that, but oh boy, did giants hear us complain when we had Elm Creek and it had five playable farms, kind of. One playable farm, four deco farms that you could sell everything on the farm and start with nothing, but a ton of really great buildings that were completely static. You couldn't even put them down. They were there, you either deleted them or you kept them, but you couldn't use them. Farm Sim 25, they have solved a whole lot of problems and have made a lot of people's wishes come to fruition. Just about every single building in build mode is enterable or usable in some way and not just simply a waste of space. Now what you have before you here are several different examples of the buildings in build mode. On this first field, we have several sheds. Sheds and barns, but by no means the entire collection of sheds and barns. All of them are completely usable. And we're going to go through most of these and look at the insides. What do we have over here? Well, over here we have mostly farmhouses. Now, sadly, these farmhouses are not enterable. They have textures as if they have interiors, but they don't actually have interiors. We can't actually go inside of them. Kind of ironic because the farmhouses we can build, we can go inside of, but these, not so much. Whatever's coming next for Farm Sim, we want to go inside our farmhouses, okay? We have a few select silos over here. Definitely not a full collection of what's available. We're going to go through all that in a little bit. We have a silage bunker. Again, not a full selection of what's available. We have greenhouses. We have deco objects. And again, most of these deco objects we can do something with. There's a few that are completely static, but there's few and far between. And then, well, giants went a little crazy with their fences and gates. What you see before you is a collection of every fence, every gate that is a possibility in Farm Sim 25. And oh boy, there is a huge, huge selection. We're going to spend, literally, we're just going to spend most of our time probably on fences. And you may think I'm a little crazy, but once we get done... I think you're going to be as amazed as I am about what they did with this fences interface. So build mode, shift P on PC. That's how you get into build mode. There's other ways of getting into build mode. We can go to the vehicle shop. We can come down here to others and we can come over here to construction. That's build mode. We're going to start up here at sheds. Okay. Now, just ignore my little dude who's just floating in the sky. Nearly every shed has the ability to customize it. So if we click on a shed and we hit F, we're going to get a customization option. We can enable a solar panel or not. Okay, so here's that shed. You can rotate it by right clicking and rotating the mouse. All right, we can go to F. And we can configure it. We can say, do we want a solar panel? 
or do we not want a solar panel? Solar panel is going to add more cost, but it's possible we're going to get residual income to more than make up for the cost of the solar panels. We also have the option of toggling snapping on or off. What does that mean? Well, watch when I rotate this. You see how it kind of jerks? It's snapping to various coordinates, right? So if you want it to be perfectly square, you can do that. If we hit R, turn snapping off, now we get a full 160 degree rotation. We could be just slightly off and it doesn't have a problem with it. If we hit R again, toggle snapping back on, it's going to force us to be on one of those 360 degrees by one, you know, one degree. So 360 little clicks, you get a full rotation. Now, not all of these are only going to let you customize by adding solar panels. Some of them will let you customize by actually changing the color of the siding. So we had that in Farm Sim 22, where we could change the color of the siding. But here, right, we can do a solar panel, or we can change the color of the siding. We get to pick what siding color we want. Meanwhile, in Farm Sim 22, we had to basically toggle through the different colors until we found the one we wanted. So when you are placing buildings in Farm Sim 25, get in the habit of hitting F to go into customize and see what your choices are because you might be pleasantly surprised. And it's gonna be interesting to see when modders start putting out building mods, how they're going to incorporate this customization aspect. The way I understand how buildings are being done in FS25, there's gonna be the ability to apply a decal. And the decals can be applied in such a way where you could set up and have like a brand new building that looks brand new, right? So you can have this building look brand new. Or you can have it look old and ragged and it's gonna apply decals to the structure in order to make it look like the paint's peeling off and other things. So it'll be really interesting to see how we can thoroughly customize our buildings going forward. Okay, so this is just a sampling. A lot of these buildings we've seen before. And then some of these buildings over here, which are the ones I placed, are new. And a lot of these buildings are in the map here on Riverbend Springs or on Bhutan Pantai or on Zilonka. So let's go over here and take a look at some of these sheds. So this is a Zilonka building. This can be an example of how you might have a decal applied where the building looks all run down, stuff's chipped off, we got brick exposed. But then maybe you could customize this building and have it look, you know, like it's brand new or recently constructed. But all of these buildings have interiors. They're all useful and functional in some way. Right, so we have a little two-bay garage here. A little side shed, right? Some more stuff, but all of these, again, we can go into. Whereas in previous farm sims, Essentially, like, this building could just be static. So it's a waste of space. If I can't go into it, I don't want it. And that's why I think build mode for FS25 is just a whole new level. We've seen this building here on the main starting farm. We also have a variant to this building that is bale and pallet storage. That's super cool. I do wish, though, maybe we had the ability to change the siding on it a bit. And a lot of these buildings have really great details inside. So 
almost that if you don't put them down, you can't really appreciate the details of the structures, you know, until you can look around. So just imagine the creations you're going to be able to do with building out your own farm, having all of these great detailed structures. We're going to get to one of these barns. I think it's this one. Then we can actually go up up the stairs. No, it's the other barn. But look at this. Farm Sim 19 had a great barn on the main starting farm. In the trailer, we see the CGI guy go up to the barn open the door and inside the door there was a John Deere tractor tractor that was the John Deere's going to be in the game we get that barn in game we can't go inside it that was a major letdown not anymore now all these buildings have interiors this one this one we can even go up Got a bit of a loft, but we're not done. We can go up to a third level. Now I can see this building being modified by by somebody, and you could also have like you could have an apartment up here. Although I really want to wouldn't want to have a living space up here in the third level of a barn with no insulation. It's going to get awful hot. Check out this one. Stone. We can go inside. And then we have... Right, a whole different angle. This thing's crazy. Even if farm said, oh my, it's this building ever in. Even in Farm Sim 22, we had these buildings. They are completely useless. We couldn't go inside them. Ha ha, we can go inside this one. Imagine what you can store inside of here. That just might be the first door that we can actually not go into. This is just sheds. All right, let's go over here. Take a look at the next tab. It's going to be silos. So under silos, right, we have these. I'm not a huge fan of these. But we have these up here, right? We have this one. I'm not a big fan of this one either. And then we have the silos that we had from FS22. We can put down our single bins again, use augers to fill and extract. Here we've got that bale shed that I mentioned. 250 bales or pallets. We have our hayloft. We have our manure heap, flurry tanker, we have multiple silage bunkers. Under silo extensions, more of the same, right? Now we're going to do a whole separate video on constructibles. 
right? But we have a section here of constructibles, but this isn't the only list of constructibles. Containers, right? Storage, fuel, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, water, okay? Tools. So we've got our G-Force vehicle workshop here. We have our electric charging station. We have our weather station, right? We have our placeable pressure washer, but this isn't your normal placeable pressure washer. Let me show you that in a minute. We got a couple scales. That's all fine and dandy. I honestly was hoping I could go inside of this, but no, it's just static. But it would have been nice if we had like a little office here and we could open these doors and actually has a service bay inside of there. Let me show you the pressure washer. Right, we got this. Right, we can spray. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 nothing new. But look at this. What? We can start the engine. And now we can push it. We can move this thing around to wherever we want it to go. And when we get where we want to be. We can take our wand. And spray our vehicle down. Pretty cool idea. Farmhouses. Okay, so we've got a myriad of farmhouses. Quite the collection. From cheap trailers. At least we don't have holes in the roof on this one. To, well, pretty grand estates. Quite the selection of farmhouses. Sadly, none of them we can go inside of, but we do have quite the variety. We've already done a video somewhat on production. So I don't think we need to spend overly too much time with respect to the production menu. Under factories, selling points we looked at in that video as well. Greenhouses I do have over here. Right, we have our rice sapling greenhouse. We're going to talk about that in a future rice video. Then we have three different sizes of tarp. Greenhouse, small, medium, and large. Obviously, the large greenhouse is going to produce more. Then we have three different sizes of a glass greenhouse, small, medium, and large. And then we have three different sizes of a mushroom greenhouse, small, medium, and large. Under cultivation, we've shown a video on how you create rice fields. We'll include that in a future rice video as well. Of course, we have our olive trees and our grapevines here as well. And then we have various generators that are going to provide us some amount of static income per hour. Cows, sheep, pigs, goats, horses, chickens, bees, they're all going to have their own dedicated videos where we're going to cover the structures and some more information about dynamic pastures, which we've already covered singularly in future videos. Fences is where we're going to spend some time here. Lights, placeable lights. We've got lots of light options. These, A lot of these lights came from Zilonka, the premium expansion. And that's where those are. Then we have others, and that's where we have these sheds. Now, a lot of these sheds are tool sheds for hand tools, and that is new for Farming Simulator 25 as well. So before we go and spend all of our time in talking about our fences and our choices there, let's come over here and talk about these sheds and hand tools because we can store things like brushes, marker paint, 
chainsaws in these sheds. And then when we need to use them, we can come to the shed and basically get them out of the shed and make use of them. So this is one such of those little sheds. When we walk in, we can see we have a area for a chainsaw, marker paint, and a brush. The larger shed here, which is gonna mean we can store more things. Two chainsaws, two marker paints, and a brush. And then we have the largest tool shed, which is gonna give us space for four chainsaws, three marker paints, and a brush. So how do we use this? How do we put a chainsaw away? Well, let's go pick up a chainsaw. Okay, come down here to our hand tools. Let's get our chainsaw out. And when we walk into here, when we get close enough to it, we're going to get R to return the chainsaw and it's going to put it away. We're going to walk up close enough to it. And we're going to be able to take the chainsaw with R. Now, of course, we could just stash it. If we wanted to, but really we want to put it away. So back over here, the fences. And if you don't pay attention to what's going on with fences, you could miss out on a lot that there is to offer. In fact, initially when I was looking at fences, I was really confused. I was like, all right, we got lots of fences, but where are the gates? There's no gates. How am I supposed to go inside something that's fenced? Well, it took me a little bit of time to see what was going on. And once I saw what was going on, I liked it. And I liked it quite a bit. So let me show you. We're going to go to our area here. We're going to go back to fences. And there is a whole lot of fences. A whole lot of fences, as you can see in this list. And I've placed every single fence and every single section of fence that is possible. And then I ran out of room and I had to move over here. Because that's what I do. I go a little crazy. Back up to the top of the list. Okay. Place a fence. We pick our fence. We hit a little dot. We decide we want to do something. We click. We drag. And we have a fence, right? If we left click again, it's gonna place the fence. We can turn the corner and we can place another section of fence, turn the corner, right? And so forth and such, that's how we do it. Well, take a look up there in the F1 menu. It says switch segment type. What's that? Well, let me show you. So let's hit N. Now we're on segment type two. What? Now it's a gate. What? K and L. Okay, we can switch to throw the gate. And then we can hit in again. And now we're back to a regular fence. Okay. So let's see how that works or how that looks. So we're, we're going along here. We got our fence. And then we have our gate. Right. And then we go back to our fence. Well, not every fence has a gate. In fact, the next few fences that we put down are just fences. No way of putting a gate in. For this one, no gate for that one, no gate for that one, or this one. or several of the next ones. So none of these have fences either. In fact, we've got to go quite a bit ways before we get to the next, the next fence. Let's come in here to build mode. No fence, no fence, no fence, none, 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 none. Oh, sorry, this one. This one is our first one with a fence. And that's this one right here. 
So we have this brick fence or brick gate. No. Brick wall. Jeez. And we switch to a segment type. And then we have this decorative gate. And then we can switch back and we have our fence again. Really nice looking fence. Then we have some more just walls with no gate options. So when you are planning out how you're going to use your fences, what fence you're going to use, you really need to know what are my options. Now, for example, this white picket fence. Okay, we have our fence. And then we come in here to a nice double gate. Or we can have a little double person gate. Or we can have a single person gate. Or we can have this 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 walkway. Right? And then we're back to our white picket fence. So that's going to be this one right here. And you can see it has segment one of five, right? So we have fence is one. Then this gate is one segment. This gate is a second segment. So one, two, three, four, five segments. This next fence is a little bit redesigned, but very, very similar. We have our fence. We have a very big double gate, easy to drive through. With a slightly smaller double gate. Double person door. A single person gate and then back to fence. And then back over here, we have kind of this metal corrugated fence. With a double gate. Smaller one. Person door. Right over back to our fence. How about kind of a chain link? Right? We got that. Got a fence here with a person door. Right, a double fence there. Now this one's this one's really interesting. This one we have this fence, two posts, and then the horizontals are in between. And then we have this kind of like entryway. Potential, potential to put a sign up there or something. And then we have a signpost. That's that's part of this fence set. Okay. So we're gonna come over here to this one. This is the set, right? Then we have that. And then the segment two of three is just this random signpost. Kind of interesting. This fence, right? We have fence there, then we have a double door. This one's really interesting as well. So we have our fence, then we have a double, a big wide double gate. We have a wide single gate. We have a smaller single gate with a wagon wheel in the middle. We have a person door. We have a tall singular person door. And then we have this corner segment. It's 
So let me show you this one. One of seven segments. So we have our fence. And then we have our swinging double, our wide singular swinging. We have our wagon wheel gate. We have our short person door, our tall person door, and then we have the corner post. Kind of neat. Kind of your normal chain link fence going on here. This gate slides. And then we have a gate on wheels. We have a double gate. We have a smaller double gate. We have a single gate. And then we have this corner post. How about this one? This red one is really cool. So we have our fence. We have a, a person door here with a high bar. We have a shorter person door. We have a wider door. We have a different design. Wider door. We have a bigger door with that same design. We have a double version. There's a cattle fence, cattle gate. We've got the bar there. We've got a big wide double decorative there. And then we have our metal fence again. This one's going to be wooden. We have our person door. We have a double. We have a big swing. We have this one that's double. And then our fence. The options just continue and continue and continue and continue. The flexibility, the variability, the customization that you're going to have available to you is near limitless. You might spend more time trying to figure out which fence you want to put down to figure out which gates need to go where because you want everything to match. And now we're back over here to just kind of fences, little walls. Stone wall with a person door. A double fence. Well, this one was interesting. We had a stone wall. We had two different types of little person fences or person doors. Placeable set of steps. And then our our wall again. Different doors, right? Different decorative doors to go along with this brick wall. This was interesting. So this fence came here. Then we had this segment that it just ended and kind of buried down in the ground. And then this one also had a corner post. And then it had the double doors, narrower doubles, single, single, and back to our fence. So that one was really interesting. And it just continues. And I don't I don't think I need to like belabor it anymore but the amount of variability that exists across just the fences tab of the build mode 
is somewhat mind boggling. If you haven't spent some time looking down through that, if you just saw it and you just kind of glanced over it, go back to it. Give it some more attention because a lot of time was spent in designing, modeling, and animating out all of these different gates, different fences, just so that we could decorate our areas and, well, make them feel a bit more unique, a bit more individualized, and quite possibly feel a bit more like home. So guys, if you like this video, please, by all means, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, we're going to be continuing to put out Farm Sim 25 content for quite a long time. We've got a whole lot of tips and tricks and deep dive videos still yet to put out. We're just trying to slowly trudge through all the content that I need to put out with respect to all the how you do all of the various crops field work and other new features that have come to the game in fs25 so stick around for the run it's going to be a blast i look forward to seeing y'all in a live stream whenever we do those and until next time happy farming